Welcome back to Info Squad, where information equals freedom. We all have our favorite foods, but what strange and even dangerous chemicals are hiding in our next meal? The Food and Drug Administration has approved over 3,000 different preservatives, additives, along with artificial and even natural flavorings to be used in our food. Wood chips, beaver anus, and even beetle shells are all natural, so these fall into the natural category of ingredients that you may be consuming. The artificial dyes we use have been banned in several countries outside of the United States. These dyes are made from petroleum and have been linked to brain cancer, nerve cell damage, and hyperactive behavior in children. Olestra was banned in the UK and Canada. Olestra is an additive found in potato chips. It lowers the calorie count while causing a vitamin depletion. Brominated vegetable oil makes food dye stick to the liquid and remain in solution, but it's also been linked to birth defects and major organ damage. It can be found in nearly every soda sold in the United States. This stuff has been banned in over 100 countries. There are literally thousands of food and drug additives that are banned around the world which remain legal in the United States. How is it that all of these chemicals remain legal? In the United States, we have what is called the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA. This is an organization that has been tasked with keeping harmful chemicals out of any product made for human consumption. The problem is, they are completely corrupt, and essentially they allow companies to purchase approval for most of these harmful chemicals. In other cases, they don't even need to make them pay. If any company claims that an additive is generally recognized as safe, or grass as they call it, the FDA doesn't even bother to take a look. All the manufacturers have to do is say there is no proof that these chemicals are harmful and the FDA will declare that the chemicals are a grass additive and basically they look the other way. It turns out that the FDA is underfunded right now uh, and the Republicans have actually uh, voted to cut more funding to the FDA. So they have limited resources when it comes to testing our food before it actually goes out to the markets. Uh, so what they're doing to kind of cut costs and save money is they're high, hiring a third party to do the tests for them, right? And they do the tests in a cheaper way. The reason why it's cheaper is because they don't really do any tests. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of times they have ties to the executives in these big food companies. Uh, so the food companies will basically draw out what the guidelines are and they'll say, here are the guidelines, go ahead and test us. And they're buddies, they're friends, they know one another and the food doesn't get tested. Thus, 3,037 people died last year uh, because of the lack of regulation in our food industry. This corruption has gone on in the United States unchecked for many years. How long will we do nothing? When will we take our health back from these profit-hungry corporations? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below. If you like what we're doing here at Info Squad, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll catch you in the next video.